Hello children, how are you? I hope that everybody are fine and staying stay, uh, sorry, staying safe at home. This is your Saubhagya Madam and I am back with another session in our lesson 3, Food and Health. So children, we were talking about the different kinds of foods and also the different nutrients that are present in our food in our last videos. So in this video, we will learn about preserving the food. So children, if you observe at home, so what do your mother do? Your mother will preserve the food. So in what way she is preserving the food? Either she preserves the food by putting in the refrigerator or she even store them in some storage boxes. Yes, children. So why they are being preserved? Why we have to preserve the food? So about all these things we will learn in this session. So preserving the nutrients. Preserving the food means we are preserving the nutrients that are present in the food. We know there are five important nutrients. Carbohydrates, protein, fats, vitamins and minerals. Yes children. So we have to preserve these nutrients from washing away from the food material. Then only when we eat these foods, we will get these nutrients. So first we will know what are the reasons for losing the nutrients that are present in the food. Then we can go in what way we can preserve the food. Okay children. Nutrients are lost because of wrong methods of cooking and storing. So children, the first point is nutrients are lost because of wrong methods of cooking and storing. What are the wrong methods of cooking? Now you will get it out. Madam, whatever food we are eating, we need to cook. Yes. But what is this wrong method of cooking? See children, before you cook any food material, what do you do? What do you do children? You will wash the vegetables or fruits. Yes. So, over washing of the food materials also leads to loss of the nutrients. For example, if you want to cook any kind of vegetable, you have to wash it before you cut it into pieces. Okay. For example, we will take a bottle guard. What you will do? You will peel the outer skin. You will wash it and then we have to cut the bottle guard into pieces. If if you cut the pieces before and then you wash it in water, what happens? If you wash the pieced bottle guard in water, what will happen children? The vitamins or minerals which are present in that bottle guard will wash away by the water. Okay. So, remember to wash the vegetables or the fruits before you cut them into pieces. Okay children. See, that is our next point. Washing cut fruits and vegetables washes away nutrients. So that is what I was explaining to you. So you should not cut any fruit or any vegetable after cutting them. You have to wash them before cutting them. Okay. Third one. Overcooking destroys several nutrients. Sometimes what we do? We may forget and we will cook them over. Over means uh, see the vegetables. The vegetables cannot be overcooked. They have to be cooked only in a lighter mode. Mean, function set madam na what ni urakhe ne bali. Ekhu set urakhe ne bokoru. But potato ondi. Oka potato ondi isko ni mana urakhe bate. Anta set urakhe bate tham. Aaj matka matka ka paste la gayi pe anta urakhe urakhe bate bokoru. Kuncha madam matka gayi the sir potu. So that. The nutrients which are present in that potato will not be evaporated from the food. Okay, children. 
not only with potato you can take few examples there okay cooking in excess water so sometimes what we do is uh, we want to make um, like you, you wanted to boil the vegetables and then you wanted to fry them so what we will do we will put we will take all the vegetables in the pan and we'll pour two or three glasses of water into it which is an excess amount of water so you will put them all them all of the vegetables on the stove and you will leave them to boil so while boiling what happens the nutrients which are present in the vegetables will come out into the water but now what we are doing we are not using the water which is uh, which we get after uh, boiling we are only using the cooked vegetables so what is happening here the nutrients which are present are going into the uh, boiled water and the waste food we are going to eat it so we are losing the nutrients in this way so cooking in excess water ekku neelu kosu urka pettadam valla kuda ekku neelu kosu urka pettadam gaani vanta cheyadam valla kuda em avutundi a nutrients anevi food lo nunchi vellipotu okay children next keeping cooked foods for longer period so children today i have cooked mutton curry so i can eat this mutton curry only for one day or two days yes not more than that if i go on eating that same curry after three to four days what happened you will get a foul smell yes children okay see the sometimes we often experience this with some kinds of vegetables fruits and also some kinds of uh, wet foods see for example you will bring bananas you will leave them on the table after 3 4 days the bananas will completely ripen up so that you can see bad smell coming out of the okay the banana will get ripen up and you will get foul smell and some juice will be coming out and the color of the banana will be changed so what does this indicate this indicate that the banana has been spoiled if you look this condition you can observe this in different kinds of fruits yes children and also like some vegetables like brinjals onions chilies so any vegetable or fruit if you are leaving it unattended or not storing it in proper way what happens definitely there will be the growth of germs or mold okay this will indicate that the food has been spoiled and what happens what happens if we eat such spoiled food what happens children sometimes we will get ourselves poisoned by eating such kind of food materials okay never eat any food item which is spoiled always we have to eat fresh fruits or fresh vegetables or fresh eggs fresh milk see children we choose on the good lo kuda paade pothu unte ved ekku aipothe a good lo kuda anta kuda spoil aipo smell vastundi alage paalu if you leave them without boiling outside podun dechinve saindram kele em aipothe gedda kattestundi so what is happening why because the food material is been kept unattended or unpreserved వాటిని ప్రిజర్వ్ చేయలేదు కాబట్టి వాటికి ఏమవుతుంది జర్మ్స్ అనేవి పెరుగుతుంది సో ఇఫ్ ద జర్మ్స్ విల్ గ్రో ది స్పాయిలేజ్ కెన్ బి సీన్ ఇన్ ఆల్ దీస్ ఫుడ్ మెటీరియల్స్ సో నౌ చిల్డ్రన్ వీ నో వాట్ ఆర్ ద వేస్ ఇన్ విచ్ వీ ఆర్ లూజింగ్ ద న్యూట్రియన్స్ అండ్ వాట్ ఆర్ ద వేస్ ఇన్ విచ్ ద ఫుడ్ ఈస్ గెటింగ్ స్పాయిల్ నౌ వీ విల్ డిస్కస్ వాట్ ఆర్ ద మెథడ్స్ ఆఫ్ ప్రిజర్వింగ్ ద food and what is the main reason behind this simple the only reason behind this preservation technique or preservation method is to save the food materials for longer periods okay children we are only preserving the food materials so that we will not allow them to spoil 
and we can also use them for longer periods okay children the general methods of food preservation that we see at our home is putting the or uh, putting all varieties of foods in the refrigerator yes children if you keep the fruits or vegetables or the cooked items in the refrigerator you can store them for one or two days yes children or three to four days like fruits and vegetables okay and also sometimes we can defreeze them defreezing means like uh, putting in the deep freezer foods like ice creams milk uh, chicken or mutton yes so all these kinds of foods can be defreezed so that they can be stored for at least a period of 15 to 30 days okay children uh, so the milk or the curd such items can be defreezed so that they can store for at least 15 days and uh, food items like uh, meat chicken prawns crabs all these are being stored in the ice or the stored in the deep freezers so that they can store they can be stored without spoilage for at least a period of month so children this is the only method that we know up to now okay so now we will see the other preservation methods that are used to store or preserve many different kinds of food items dehydration what is the first method children dehydration the name itself indicates that dehydration means removing of water okay children so in this method the food materials are being uh, preserved by removing the moisture content in the food as i said that every living thing or everything uh, every living thing depends upon water from where do we get food children you are getting food from the plants so plants can they survive without water no and uh, we also get food from the animals the meat or the fish every food item either the food item that we are getting from plants or animals contain a minimum of moisture in it so because of the presence of water in the food material there is a chance of growth of bacteria fungi or virus in the food so in this method what the preservators or the people who are preserving the food will do they will remove the excess amount of water which is present in the food materials so that you can store them for a longer period okay children for example if you go to a, a bigger stores then you can get dehydrated peas dehydrated corn mokka janna uh, beans ivanni em chestaru ante water content ni remove chestaru chesesi vaatini chakkaga packing chesi refrigerator lo pettaru so that they can stay for longer periods of time okay what is the other method the other method is sweetening in this technique what they do they add sugar what they are adding children by adding sugar to the food materials we can stop the growth of bacteria or germs which can spoil the food example like preparation of jams and jelly so children if you can see a jam then it it is containing high amount of sugar because of the presence of the sugar that that sugar is acting as a preservative and it is storing the food material okay children and some uh, fruits some fruits like kiwis or cherries if you go to a uh, bakery you can see the cherries red cherries so you they are preserved in the sugar syrup they are preserved in the sugar syrup so that they are not spoiled okay so some kinds of fruits and jams and jellies such kind of food items can be preserved by adding sugary substances 
to the food material so that method is called as sweetening sweetening adding sugar to the foods is called as sweetening okay now we'll see the third method of preservation salting what it is salting so as we have already seen how the sugar is added in the same way salt is also added to some kinds of foods especially to preserve the sea foods for children to preserve the sea foods like fish prawns crabs okay children to preserve them for longer periods what they will add to all these sea foods some amount of salt is added so the salt is also acting like a dehydrant the salt would em chestundante a food materials lo unna water ni absorb chesestundi so that they become uh, water free so that they can be stored for longer periods for example endi chapalu vinnaramma endi chapalu chapalu em chestarante chakkaga konni rojulu ఉప్పు వేసి ఉంచేస్తారు ఉంచేసినాక వాటిని ఏం చేస్తారంటే ఎండలో ఆరబెడతారు సో దట్ ద సాల్ట్ అండ్ ద సన్ లైట్ టుగెదర్ విల్ రిమూవ్ ఆల్ ద వాటర్ కంటెంట్ ఫ్రమ్ ద ఫిష్ అండ్ ద ఫిష్ విల్ బికమ్ డ్రై ద డ్రై ఫిష్ ఈజ్ యూజ్ ఫర్ ఈటింగ్ ఓకే చిల్డ్రన్ దిస్ ఇస్ అనదర్ మెథడ్ ఆఫ్ ప్రిజర్వేషన్ నెక్స్ట్ కమ్ ద క్యానింగ్ క్యానింగ్ మీన్స్ నవ్ ఎ డేస్ ఇఫ్ యూ గో టు ద సూపర్ మార్కెట్స్ we are finding varieties of food materials in the past yes all the foods are been canned up chinna chinna dabballo chakka gandamaina dabballo packing chestunna food avuna kada so this is a method of food preservation the rasgullas they will pack the rasgullas in the sugar syrup and they put in the eight tight cans yes um uh, many food items like cool drink all these are been canned foods that are preserved for longer periods of time especially the fruits and the baked beans konni rakalaina beans ni alage fruits ni so what they are doing they are canning them they are storing the uh, tin boxes and the sardines a kind of fish they are adding some sauces chili sauce every different kinds of sauces to them and they are packing the food in the can so that they can be preserved for a longer period of time next one pickling this is also a best method of storing the food pickling pickles pachallu manki chaala ishtam avuna if you wanted to eat this pickle you really love to eat with some ghee and hot rice so here the pickling of the food like some vegetables or some kind of uh, meat products what they do they add vinegar salt and oil they add vinegar salt and oil so by adding all these ingredients to the uh, food materials they are useful for preserving the food pacha level la add chesta chusar eppudaina mi mummy vallu adagani kavalante so chakkaga pachanni mukkalu kosi dantu uppu paspu anni yesi కొన్ని రోజుల తర్వాత ఏం చేస్తారు దాంట్లో తాలింపేస్తారు ఆయిల్ వేసి అవునా కదా ఎక్కువ ఆయిల్ వేసి పెడతారు ఎందుకు వై దే ఆర్ డూయింగ్ దాట్ వై బికాస్ ద ఆయిల్ విల్ నాట్ అలౌ ద బ్యాక్టీరియా టు గ్రో ఇన్ ఇట్ అండ్ ఆల్సో ద వెనిగర్ ఓకే అండ్ ద సాల్ట్ ఆల్ దీస్ థింగ్స్ హ్యావ్ ఏ ప్రాపర్టీ లైక్ యాంటీ బ్యాక్టీరియా దే డజంట్ అలౌ ద ఫుడ్ మెటీరియా సారీ దే డజంట్ అలౌ ద దిస్ ఈస్ కాజ్ ఇన్ జర్మ్స్ టు గ్రో ఇన్ ఇట్ సో this is also a method of food preservation so children we will once again recollect the methods of food preservation dehydration sweetening salting canning and pickling so in all these methods there are more other varieties along with that we also have learnt about refrigeration so all these methods are simply used only for food preservation food preservation why because sometimes if you want to eat seasonal foods you cannot get them 
So what we'll do? We will preserve them. For example, mango we get it in summer season, but matcha we get it all through the year. Yes, children. So you are taking the flavor of mango there. But actually the mangoes have, like the mangoes will be produced only during the summer season. But how could we taste it all through the year? Just because of the preservation technique. So children, that's all for this video. I hope that you have understood what are the different methods of preservation and what is the importance of preservation. And now, in our next video, we will move on to the next topic. Okay, children. Uh, please follow the videos regularly. Do not break them. And also, understand the content that we are saying to you. And uh, try to read the textbook part so that you can easily understand more. Okay, children. That's all for this video. Hope you have enjoyed it. Stay home. Stay safe. Thank you.